Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Nilfika and this guy here is Derpla. I guess that actually most of you have probably found your way to my channel um, well, after seeing the Tale of Derpla video. Yeah, this is the very same bird. First of all, we want to thank you for all the lovely comments, all the likes, all the shares, everything that you've been doing, you know, that, that has been like... <sighs> The support that you've been giving to me that has been just so motivating. Doing the video was so important to me and Derpla is so important to me. So you supporting with what I'm doing has been something so meaningful. You probably don't even have an idea how, how important it has been to me. To be honest, um, at one point I was thinking about just, you know, not continuing. But then... Derpla, yes! <laughs> yeah, Derpla happened, actually. That's very true. That was my first video ever to get that kind of attention, and that one is pure up, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, I, I really appreciate it. You requested some updates. So, as you can see, Derpla is doing great. He grew up quite nicely. He does like a little bit in size, but we don't care about that. I thought that he would have stayed much smaller, but he's like, he's almost the size of an adult Kaik, so it's not that bad. Um, I think that the only, uh, the only clear vis visible, like, kind of like, well, flaws, he doesn't have any flaws, you're, you're perfect. I think that the only, well, flaw kind of things that he was left with was the feet. They do have the strength, but for some reason, especially when he is like sitting uh, on my hand, he doesn't, you know, grip it. Because Kaiks have extremely strong feet, and when they, you know, take the grip, that grip stays. They can do whatever they like. And for some reason, Derpla is like, nah, I'm just going to. I have to be a little bit slower when I'm doing my movements. And you can see that he's, his foot are, you know, he doesn't do it like this, but instead the creep is a little bit loose like this. I, I need to trim his nails pretty often because they don't, you know, settle down. And I did hear that the feet would be like the first thing to tell you that the baby Kaik has been experiencing some nutrition problems. We have been visiting the specialist veterinarian and, and he said that everything should be fine. You will always have those kind of like swallow toes, but that should not be a problem for him. Another thing he has is that his beak grows a little bit too fast. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem either and it will also seem that he drops the extra part himself. So I don't need to cut it or anything. That's a good thing. All I need to do is monitor and see that it doesn't, you know, start doing any like serious overgrowth. Yeah, he also has this demon eye nowadays. Yeah, it's all red. Like adult kikes have his red eyes. And his personality, well, he is extremely kind. He has never, ever, ever beaten anyone. He has a lot, lot, lot of energy all the time. <laughs> but then again, he is a Kaik after all. They're not so good friends with Pyro anymore. For some reason, they are a little bit cocky towards each other, and sometimes that escalates, and Pyro can be, well, this hot-tempered version of himself and Derpla is a little bit afraid of him because of that so I will in the future I will start this kind of like reunion training or <laughs> something like that but I will do it after the spring because now it's springtime which means that Kaiks are a bit hormonal uh, other than that he's pretty cool with the cockatiels and the Quaker parrot female that he's hanging out with there's no dating they are getting along just great. Derpla is also a perfect bird for expositions and these events where you meet the audience because he never bites anyone. He is just so adorable and kind and well behaving that I'm that that's like one of the things that I'm pretty proud of. I need to constantly like give him something to consume because well with that kind of metabolism, it's a growing little man. He's good. And about the feet, can he jump? Yes, he can jump. 
Uh, does he do the kayak wrestling? Yes, he does that. Does he do the surfing? Yes, he does also the surfing thing. <laughs> Overall, I'd say that it was a success story. Okay, and then to the other news. You might have also noticed that I changed my YouTube channel name. I also changed my modeling page name and my Instagram and my Twitter and pretty much all my social media channels. The new name I'm going to use in all my channels Hi there. is Nymphica. Nymphica comes from the scientific name of the cockatiel, uh, Nymphicus hollandicus, and uh, <laughs> roughly translated would mean something like a uh, Nymph of New Holland. With this name, I'm expressing sort of like my interest in birds, especially cockatiels, and then again also my, you know, aesthetics, which are sometimes these maybe little fairy-like, fantasy-like, and uh, uh, the word nymphicus, or in my case nymphica, it reminds of the nymphs. So. I chose kind of like two things that are important to me. The other one is modeling. I'm going to publish uh, behind the scenes videos and, and other kind of stuff like that. Maybe some tutorials related to modeling and well, as you probably have figured it out, I don't do this like classical modeling. I'm an alternative and fantasy model. Uh, so something related to that. And then in the future, you will hear more about my birds, I will introduce them to you. I'm also going to tell you about my methods, about parrot training and what I think about birds and how I'm dealing with my birds. And I'm also going to introduce you to the rest of my vlog. Hey, what to do? I hope you are okay with that. Those were the news of the day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for everybody who has been sending the comments. Remember to click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos about my birds and my modeling things. <laughs>